Tonight, I'm going to pull all the stops out to make sure that doesn't happen. Game on! Giovanni's cooking an Italian menu, and first to prep is his starter, Misto di Mare, or mixed seafood with lava bread and spaghetti courgette. Misto di Mare, which is mixed seafood. He didn't need to translate that. Ooh, terribly sorry. I like seafood. Big seafood fan. Oh, yeah. I love prawns. I love scallops. I love crab. That's you all over, isn't it? Welsh Italian. I love halibut. Cod. I love all. I, I love all seafood. So I'm all seafood. Not keen on caviar. We'll let you off that. Mussels, clams, scallops, king prawns, and we got the Welsh cockles. I hope his his seafood is all uh, nice and fresh, and nothing is frozen. I will know the difference. These are fresh. These were caught yesterday. I went up myself and caught them. Did you really? No. No, oh, Giovanni. <laughs> He blanches the mussels and clams in white wine and shakes them all about. Are you kind to that, Charlotte? What, shake shells in a pan? He pops out the flesh and will fry it all tonight, so he moves on to the lava bread. I hope he's got big plates. This sounds like quite a lot of foos. It's a lava bread. I think it's like a seaweed or maybe a garlic bread. You were right first time. So this is seaweed. It looks better once it's cooked. Right now, it looks like my children's first time. Don't say it! On the loo. Ah! Giovanni mixes the seaweed with egg and breadcrumbs and gets out a blowtorch. This is mainly for creme brulee. This has got nothing to do with this dish. I just like using it. Hello. Hey, Giuseppe. What's the matter? Get for your bun your ear. Lava bread done, he spiralises courgettes for the spaghetti. Courgette spaghetti is, um, is spaghetti, is pasta. And the courgette bit? I knew you were going to ask that. I imagine him belting out some Italian numbers as he's cooking. Oh, sole, oh, sole mio, sta fronte a te, sta fronte a te. Bravo! On to the main course. Fillet steak with pasta, Italian mash and samphire. Charlotte did steak. Claire did steak. No, Gio's doing steak. It's almost like a great bit of steak off. <laughs> My steaks will be cooked better than Charlotte's steaks. Tender and they're succulent. And these are eight ounces, which are two ounces bigger than Charlotte's. Sorry, Charlotte. Yes, but you didn't actually weigh her steaks, did you? He'll cook the fillets later, so next up, the Italian mash. It's called Italian mash because this mashed potato is served by an Italian. Nice try. Gio? What makes my mash Italian is that I'm adding a little bit of peppers, onions, garlic and a pepper sauce. He plonks the mix into mash, followed by eggs and basil. I'm now going to attempt to toss a potato. Drum rolls, please. One, two. Yay, baby! Fantastico! Oh, I love myself. Oh, I hadn't got that impression at all. Mash done, he'll cook the samphire and pasta later. I'm not sure why you've chosen the pasta as well, mind, because it tends to be a bit filling. I am expecting his pasta to be homemade. If it's not, I will be disappointed. There's so much going on tonight. I didn't want to spoil the pasta, so the pasta I'm going to make is pasta I bought, a great pasta, cooked al dente. It's going to be wonderful. Just dessert to go. Tiramisu con frutta. Without knowing too much of the Italian lingo, um, I would say that's tiramisu with fruit. Sticking your neck out there, aren't you? Tiramisu con frutta. So basically coffee and fruit. A good tiramisu needs really strong, beautiful coffee. This is very different to a traditional tiramisu. Normally, it's done with espresso coffee. So what I'm doing is different, is fruit. No coffee. Everybody likes fruit, including me. But Charlotte likes coffee. Giovanni begins his unconventional tiramisu by sizzling mixed berries with liqueur, orange juice, coconut and sugar. There's a reason why I put extra sugar in this. That's to sweeten Charlotte up. I've had it in a few restaurants and it's not been up to my standard, so he's going to have to make sure that this is spot on. More sugar! More sugar! This is one of the best brandies you can get in Italy. Oh, cheeky little taste, I think. What? Beautiful. Yeah, it's meant to go in the pudding. After a quick flambe, he layers the fruit with sponge fingers, mascarpone, cream, and finally tops with more fruta. They're going to love it. In the fridge. Come on, get in the fridge. Come on, in the fridge you go. That's it, there's a good boy. Prep done, he's off to get changed. 
I'm a little bit shocked. I was expecting a bit more from Gio. Um, after his comments about my menu, I thought he was really going to go all out.